Hey guys, what is going on? Moses plays here with another Path of Exile video. Blight is coming, and I am here to introduce the build guide for uh, my next character, which is going to be a miner. <laughs> big surprise! So, mines saw a big change in 3.8, and we're going to test it out. It's going to be our league starter, it's going to be awesome. Um, I am going to start as a Stormblast uh, miner because we are getting it at level 1 right away off the bat Stormblast Mine exists and that's what we're going to be doing uh, into Icicle Mine that we're going to be getting at level 12 uh, what might be the case is Stormblast being a pretty good single target Icicle being a pretty good clear so I'm going to level up a couple of gems in my off weapons for both Storm mine, uh, Stormblast Mine and Icicle Mine and uh, Pyroclast which we're going to be getting at level uh, 28 just to be able to test and see what's going to be the best one for kind of like single target uh, later on uh, to test out but for mapping Icicle Mine is basically the build we're going to be going with and for bossing but you know we're going to level up a bunch of gems because uh, decision has been made we're going to be going so so found and I want to try all of those uh, all of those skill gems for uh, the new uh, miner uh, skitter bots also exist. Uh, they're kind of like a joke to me. I don't understand how you justify 35% mana reserve in a mine over matter build at all. Which the return you're getting is going to be 10% more traps and mine damage. So for just a small 10% multiplier, it's not even like another support gem reserving 35% of our mana is going to be ridiculous, especially uh, since we are using Mind Over Matter and um, we are in a world where mines are going to be reserving mana. Uh, if we're looking at uh, Stormblast right now, it says mana reserved 6. Uh, if you're looking at Icicle, it says the same, uh, 6. So at level 20, uh, each time you throw, it's 6, but you're going to throw, be throwing a whole bunch all at once and pretty fast. So we're going to be reserving probably a couple hundred mana at any given time, maybe 100 mana, maybe 150, maybe 70, I don't, I don't entirely know, uh, but these are going to be the numbers, and if we're going to add 35% more to that from Skitterbots that are cute, um, we're going to get into a situation where we're going to get one-shotted because our mana pool is not going to be able to absorb uh, the amount of damage we take from, you know, from Mind Over Matter, and that's not where we want to be at all. So I'm not going to be using them perhaps at level 16 where we're getting them, uh, just because they might be cute, but end game mapping, once I get to Mind Over Matter, remove them and probably destroy the gym, <laughs> uh, because they just don't have room, and I don't understand uh, this at all. Um, at all. Um, makes no sense to me. Um, yeah. That's basically it. Let's get into the tree. They have released the new tree, uh, both Icicle and, um, Stormblast and Pyroclast, uh, all have an AoE tag, which means, uh, there it might be a use for this cluster in the case of, uh, Stormblast and Pyroclast, for sure. Uh, in, the, in the case of Icicle Mine, I'm not entirely sure, uh, but this will give us uh, area effect uh, and area damage, right? So this might be a pretty good cluster, mine damage and area effect, area effect, and uh, yeah, area effect and area damage, and more area effect if you detonated recently. So this is 20... This is 32% increased air effect. Definitely going to be strong for Stormblast and Pyroclast. Uh, not entirely sure about um, Icicle, but we may end up picking it up. Anyways, uh, out of uh, outside of that, this stayed the same. Acro phase acro stayed the same. Of course, it kind of like I'm most likely going to grab acro phase acro both, uh, but you might just want to get uh, acro. Um, and it also depends on kind of like the league mechanic, how strong stuff is going to be, how many spells we're going to have our way, uh, if we're going to end up needing it. Um, Blast Cascade moved from here, which now is a minion node, a cluster, uh, into here. So we got to go through here now uh, to grab our, you know, power charge generation. Um, they introduced a new cluster over here. It's called Successive Detonation, which gives us a big uh, crit chance and crit multi for mines detonated recently. 
um, you know, which is pretty huge overall for three points. Very, very good. Um, little cluster over here. Uh, this stayed the same. The little, you know, baby nodes over here kind of changed. Uh, we're still going to pick up volatile mines. Definitely worth the trip. Um, we're getting uh, increased damage taken up to 10%, right? So each mine applies 10% increased damage, which is kind of like intimidate, uh, which I believe is a more multiplier over here. So it's a very strong node, much, much stronger, as a matter of fact. Um, uh, and over here we have that uh, mine throwing speed, mine throwing speed, detonation speed. Okay, so this is more quality of life, but the damage and mana reservation reduction is located here. Uh, I believe we're still going to go with the throwing speed, detonation speed, versus the uh, damage, generic damage and mana reservation. I believe we're going to be able to sustain this, but you know we'll see how that develops. The playstyle uh, might end up changing this choice, and then we might just go. Uh, over here, but at the moment it would seem to me that we're just going to grab these two. Uh, new little uh, cluster was introduced uh, over here. Not entirely introduced, it used to be, oh, I guess, yeah, Deep Thought, it's still here. So this entire thing is new. Awesome. So this is basically spell damage, <coughs> mana, and block uh, kind of stuff. Uh, we, you can read it, but we are grabbing these two points, which are essentially the equivalent uh, in our build to a clear mind without using clear mind. So the synergy is 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 gone, but this is now introduced. So this is very strong for us um, because it is you know mana, 20% I believe. Yeah, 15 and 5. That's 20% mana, and then up to 50. That's realistic. We can say 45 to 50%. Uh, increased spell damage for just two points. Uh, massive, massively good investment for us, definitely. Um, um, yeah, and outside of that, I believe I forgot Throw Seeker, very strong for level 93. But yeah, that's how our tree is going to look like in the end. Uh, outside of that, nothing is changed. Uh, in terms of like the rest of the tree, mind over matter. Uh, how do we level up? When it comes to links, uh, we're going to grab our... They changed the names, but essentially these are the same... Um, you know, uh, the same uh, gems, right? Um, so this is already a mine, right? So this gives us like another link. These, these gems are already mines. We don't need like, you know, remote mine and... The spell gem, we all, we also have a mine gem that we can use as is, so we don't need the remote mine anymore. So blast chain, which used to be remote mine, uh, instead we're just going to be using minefield. And, uh, you know, our storm blast, this is uh, minefield, I believe, is a level... I don't, I, believe, I don't believe it's shown here. Oh, this one is a level 38. So it's going to be taking a while uh, until we get it. Makes sense. It is pretty strong uh, for additional remote mines placed at a time. But eventually we'll get there. But yeah, our links are probably going to be stuff like, uh, you know, the, the mine gem itself. Um, storm blast and then icicle. And then, you know, control destruction, added cold, add lightning. We should level up these kind of gems. Increase critical strikes. Going to be strong from the very beginning. Uh, what they did was that they nerfed the plus one to level of socketed coal gems. Uh, wand recipe I don't know I have no idea why they did it but they did so these recipes are now going to instead give us um, flat cold damage to spells flat lightning damage to spells based on the rarity of the ring that we're going to use so it's kind of silly I don't get why but they decided to kill this recipe so it's not it no longer exists um, so something we should note and uh, talk about if we're talking about a leveling guide for tomorrow's league start. Um, outside of that, um, skater bots I talked about. Yeah, it just makes no sense. Um, that's basically it. So yeah, the tree. How do we level up? Uh, we are going to start as a saboteur. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the ascendancy real quickly. Um, I'm going to go with Bomb Specialist and Demolition Specialist and then uh, Pyromaniac uh, as my three first uh, nodes and then pick up Born in the Shadows later on. 
Um, these just are very, very strong. All that mine throwing speed, you know, placement speed, and all that extra damage, all that detonation speed, super awesome quality of life. Uh, increased effect of auras from mines. Uh, mines hinder enemies. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's like pretty massive, you know. Uh, all the old throwing speed, all the, that kind of quality of life, and then we're gonna grab uh, Pyromaniac, and uh, only then once we complete Uber Lab, uh, Born in the Shadows uh, is probably going to be my choices. Uh, it just feels pretty nice. You could alternatively use uh, Explosive Expert, but uh, Pyromaniac is very, very smooth for shock and uh, ignite immunity. Uh, so yeah, that's when it comes to Labyrinth. Um, outside of that, the Miner, um, we have like three goals as we first level up. First is going to be reaching uh, this as quick as we can. By this I mean this cluster right here. The, the mine circle is very strong for us. Uh, we're going to pick up all these nodes except the crit chance over here. Second um, goal is going to be uh, acrobatics. Um, and then we could pick up blast waves. And then um, we're going to be... Uh, heading towards here and then one two three for spell damage uh, for spell crit and then at this point uh, we should start getting into you know these nodes we're probably going to get these early on and then um, yeah something like this getting to mind over matter and at this point we should be around level 60 uh, something like that so we'll grab this or just go straight into the life nodes as quick as we uh, can because yeah this is like level 61 we want these life nodes um, and we want light of divinity quickly um, so we'll grab light of divinity 64 is usually when we we finish our you know our the story we grab this life node and then at this point we'll fill in all the damage nodes that we missed um and we will respec over here so we'll pick up this intelligence node so we have connection and then we unspec these one two three four five nodes over here so for one point we're going to be getting all these fives uh, five nodes uh, removed that gives us a little bit of uh, extra breathing room to grab uh, this with the crit multi not the crit chance and then grab this and unspec the crit chance and then grab uh, this with the crit multi uh, over here and uh, yeah at that moment at that point we could uh, continue just um, towards the life node uh, over here around level 76 and then fill in heart seeker and so on uh, throat seeker uh, prodigal perfection and uh, yeah fill in all the rest of the life nodes life mana and so on and build our tree uh, based on this um, so that's how I'm planning on leveling up and uh, yeah I think it's a pretty solid way of uh, leveling up a character like this and uh, yeah blast waves we'll see how that's gonna go I'm pretty sure it's going to be useful for all three new mine uh, skills but yeah we will see how that goes you could also find if you find a way to get into here this is a good life cluster with a little jewel socket but yeah probably not probably this should be your uh, tree and then you fill in all the crit, all the damage, some jewel sockets here, here, you know, here, here. These are going to take a lot of points and then uh, potentially some mana. Um, but yeah, we're obviously level 99 at this point. So, but that's generally how the tree should look like, how leveling should look like and uh, that's what I'm planning on doing if you want to check out you know and see how the character progresses you're obviously uh, all invited to hang out with me on stream 
We're going to be on the grind and Blight's going to be awesome. We're going to make plenty of Soul Cell fun, fun builds and there's a lot of new skills that um, I'm waiting to kind of like explore and there's a whole bunch of stuff that I wanted to do last league and just could not get the chance. Uh, all the wander, the physical wander stuff that I've been talking about and other things that we're planning on doing uh, for the next league. So yeah, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you learned something. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to hang out in my stream. I'm going to be 24-7 pretty much at League Start. going to be pushing pretty hard and uh, hopefully get an Uber Elder kill very soon. <laughs> so yeah, thanks everybody and I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow or later today or I don't know. We'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.